Stop is a company that combines luxury with the great outdoors. Hi, Sharks. My name is Tracy Slocum, and I'm from Albany, New York. I'm the CEO and founder of Pretty Rugged. Today, I'm seeking $200,000 for 10% of my company. Sharks, my great-great-grandfather was the first man to sail alone around the world. His name was Captain Joshua Slocum. I'm Tracy Slocum. Wow, that's pretty cool. He was a pioneer of his time, and his trailblazing spirit is sewn into everything I do. So, Sharks, I made a blanket that is waterproof and windproof on one side and faux fur on the other. You can see that this is the faux, faux fur side and this is the waterproof and windproof side. And that's when Pretty Rugged was born. But I didn't just stop there, Sharks. I created an entire lifestyle brand around luxury and function, making products that were made for life. Luxury redefined. So sharks, who wants to jump on this ride with me and take this around the world just like my great-great-grandfather did? <laughs> wow. wow. That's pretty cool that he went around the world. Yeah, he was 51 years old when he did it. He had lost the love of his life. He was Aww. given a boat. He rebuilt that boat um, in about 13 months. Wow. And while he rebuilt it, he rebuilt himself. And he had a goal that was so big and people really doubted him. And I can really relate to this heritage and this DNA myself. I started Pretty Rugged when I was 43 years old. And how long ago was that, Tracy? That was in 2017. Do you want to tell us can what these are? Can we open these? Yes, would you please open your gifts? Oh, wow. These are very nice, Tracy. Beautiful. My original faux fur blankets, they're meant to feel like real sheared mink. They do. And the backing's Ooh. waterproof. So the fur goes around you, and you sit on a waterproof, like a... a, a I have it a, backwards. You do. Come on, Robert. This is how so it works, out. Robert. Look at you. <laughs> Never mind me. I'm going to take a snooze during your presentation. <laughs> okay, I know. Ah, I hope but not. This is the real me. So picture being outside and you're sitting around and you're on either wet seats. You know how the dew makes the seats get yeah, wet? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so it's this cold. is that looks beautiful on you. Um, so I created the blanket line and I launched in 2018. I walked into the Jacob Javits Center and it was the huge New York Now show. I had never been to a trade show in my life. I walked in with paper walls and a pallet table that I made myself. And I left there winning best new product and best in market. Wow. And I was wow. awarded in my first year one of Oprah's favorite things. Wow. I had instant credibility. After I won my awards at the New York Now, um, my husband's business had a complete loss from a flood. Oh, and no. we, we lost everything. And Pretty Rugged, yeah. very similar to it when I was talking about Joshua, kind of rebuilt me as a person. Um, and this, this has been my journey. And this is my passion. And that's why it's so important to me that I do this. I, I can do this. I need... I, I want a strategic partner here. I want someone who gets this and understands and wants to help me take this to the next level. How much is this blanket? That's $290. How much is what Emma was wearing? That's $220. So what does it cost you to manufacture the blanket and then the thing that I was wearing, the cape? The blankets cost me about $36 to $40. Wow. My margins wow. are huge. Oh, margin. My wholesale huge. margins are hover around 80%. Woohoo! And my, oh my wholesale margins are 70. And oh, I've sold over 30,000 units. My lifetime sales are just shy of three million. Wow. What were your sales last year? Yes, last year I did 1,197 million. And what did you make on that? I netted 32,000. What? If you made 80% margins, why did you only net $32,000 on a million? Trade shows, we, we had another purchase order last year that came in late in the year. How much did you spend on trade shows? Last year, yeah. we spent about uh, 180,000 on trade shows. Wow. There you go. Okay. A lot of trade shows this year. Do 20 trade shows this year. Oh, wow. 
supply chain issues have been an issue. Last year, I ran out of product, so I made a strategic decision to make a big purchase order of about $400,000 that came in just a couple weeks ago. T duties, I, I get knocked 25% on tariffs from China. Um, my, my ad spend was $68,000. i am listening to your numbers. It's like you said just a few moments ago. You're running around the country spending 20% of revenue at trade shows. It's working. You're selling over a million dollars. It's amazing. But I'm looking at it as an investor saying to myself, there's not any room for me. I mean, I give you $200,000 for 10%. That's a $2 million valuation. It's not worth $2 million yet. Could be one day. But for me, it's just, you know, how do I pour gasoline on this fire? because that's what I do in my investments. I, I find a model that's working, and you need cash, I have cash, I give you cash, you pour it on the business, we make more <laughs> cash, everybody's happy. Cash, cash, cash. And, but I don't see that here, Tracy, I'm sorry. I, you're, I think you're fantastic, but I'm out. Thank you, I appreciate that. Tracy, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, I actually really admire you. I admire the fact that at this point in your life, you've decided to just take a chance and do something else. I'll tell you right now, I touched this product, I put it on and it feels great. For me, working in fashion right now, it doesn't feel right to invest in something, even though this is not real fur. I think we're seeing a real downtrend in the trend overall of fur, and certainly the younger generation don't want anything to do with it. So for that reason, um, I'm out. Tracy, I think you're going to do great. I think it's a great product. Thank but you. But I'm just not sure how I can help you. So for those reasons, I'm out. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate that. Lori, Robert. So what are this year's sales? And what is the profit so far on that? So right now, my booked sales, my gross sales, not my pre-orders, are 715000 OK? So far. So far. According to my p and I'm at negative 250000 Oh, wow. Explain. My trade shows, I did four trade shows that last year. I'm doing, like, almost 20 of them this year. So it's, it's a lot. So trade shows can be five grand a show. They yeah. can be 10. Or they can be they 200. Can be, you there know, are what some, are they costing? Most of them hover between 15 and 30,000. Tracy, is it just about you? Do you have any year. staff? Or? OK, so this is run by five women. We are a women-owned company. It makes no sense. It's not a viable business. Something isn't stacking up. The inefficiencies are crazy because your margins are what they are. I and even know. your wholesale That's margin is That's why I'm good. here. I need a person that can help me. I know I'm not doing everything right. I'm not saying I am. Can I learn and know? Yes, I can. I'm so good at, at, at selling this product. Tracy, we just think you need some help. Yeah, Tracy, I, I, care, I care less about the past. I mean, we all make mistakes. I wasn't a financial guy. It took me three days to do my first spreadsheet. I mean, yes, you should know that better, but I think I can help you figure that out, and I think there are people that can figure it out. You're an absolute winner. Like, you are an absolute winner. All the poo-poo that's happened in life, and you've recovered, you've kept going. I mean, that's what I look for. Thank you. I couldn't love you more. I want to be involved with it. You know, I'm sitting here feeling this, and it's really beautiful. You would not know this isn't mink. And it's right. just, I actually like it way better, frankly, yeah. because I'm a believer in faux fur yes. versus real fur. Yes, right. me too. And then the inside is just absolutely gorgeous, too. Your margins are fantastic. You obviously have done a great job of sourcing. Yeah. Robert and I both love you and love the product, so we thought, you know what? He can help you with the financial end of it, and I can help you with the sales and marketing end of it, and we would make a good team here. What's the offer before we the meet We are going to offer you... 200000 For 25%. Because we think we add a lot of value to it, Tracy, and I think this is one of those businesses, you got to go quick. 200000 25%. Lori and I would love to be in business with you. What do you think, Tracy? So I'm just going to ask you, would you ever consider 20, 20%, not 25%? No. Tracy, we feel pretty good about that offer. Come on, we're going to blow this up. We're going to blow it up? We're going to blow it up. All right, you got a deal! Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh, well done, Tracy. I love it. I love it more. I love wow. it, too. Wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> Congratulations, Tracy. Thank you so much. OK. Yes. This is the American dream. This is what I came here for. 
I thought that I would get a shark, but to get two sharks and to have them see in me what I really feel and, and love the product was everything. You know what another great thing about this is? If you have things that you want to hide from the public, oh. you can just cover them. <laughs> and they look better.